Hey art friends, I hope you're doing well. I have missed you a lot. Your Zentangles looked awesome. Um, I hope you guys had fun making those with the hands and all the Zentangle doodles inside. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about color. If you remember in art class, uh, we've talked about the color wheel. And so I have an example of a color wheel that I've made. And we're going to talk about um, some parts of the color wheel. And if you divide, oops, let me get my pen. If you divide the color wheel um, in half right here, then you've got this half as your warm colors. I'm going to write warm. And then this half are your cool colors. So in art, we've got some colors that are cool. Oops. And then some colors that are warm. And so this half of the color wheel, your red, orange, and yellow are your warm colors. And then this half of the color wheel, your green, blue, and purple are your cool colors. So colors are really neat. They can give off certain emotions. They can make you feel a certain way or remind you of something. So cool colors have a calming effect. They help you relax. They make you think of things that are cool and cold like winter or maybe a cool, uh, cool summer breeze, things um, at nighttime and that sort of thing. While warm colors are more excite, excited and joyful and um, full of passion. So like your red, orange, and yellow make you think of the summer or the fall, uh, things that are hot like fire and the sun and things like that. So today we are going to create something using warm colors and using cool colors. So I'm going to use this as reference. Now it's not just red, orange, and yellow, but all the different kinds of reds, all the different oranges, all the different yellows are your warm colors. Now a lot of people ask me, what about pink? Pink is actually like a light red. So where do you think pink would be? It would be a warm color. So all of those, your red, orange, your yellow, orange, pink, um, all of those are going to be your warm colors. So your cool colors are those greens, blues, and purples. So if it's a yellow green, even though it has yellow in it, it's still got green. So it's a type of green. So you're going to have it here on the cool color side. So blue, green, where would that be? Cool. All right. So you're going to get a blank piece of paper now. I'm going to have this next to me so I can look at it for reference. And I'll put a picture of this one that I just made so you can look and help. it'll help you remember which ones are warm and which ones are cool. So take your paper and you should have it this direction, horizontal. So not this way, vertical. We want it this way, horizontal. All right, now take your pencil. I'm going to use my pen so you can see it a little bit better. And we're going to divide the paper in half. So start at the top and draw a line going right down the middle. And it's okay if it's not a perfectly straight line. Just like mine, it's not perfectly straight. And then on one side, we're going to have only warm colors. And on the other side, we're going to have only cool colors. Now, remember I said it makes you think of things like night and day. So we're going to have one half of our paper. The cool half is going to be night. And then the warm half is going to be day. So to help us remember, I'm going to draw a big moon on the cool side. So start by just drawing half a circle and then come back to that top part and draw a curve to connect it. 
kind of like a crescent moon. And then on this side, we're going to draw the sun. But I actually want it to be a sunset because the sky is full of warm colors at sunset. So I'm going to draw another line right here to be my horizon. Horizon means that line that separates the ground from the sky. So this is my sky and this is my ground. So this line is my horizon. And on that, I'm going to draw a big rainbow curve to be my sun. So it looks like the sun when it's setting. Now I'm going to draw some lines like this. Oops. Now you might want to do this with your colors. And that's my sun. All right, now I want a horizon line on this side too because I gotta have some ground. So I'm gonna draw a line here. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now everything on this side is gonna be cool colors and everything on this side is gonna have warm colors. So I want you to fill in these colors kind of like how you did your zentangles. So think about those lines and shapes that you used to do those zentangle doodles. And then we're gonna fill in each side like that. So I have another example that I did before. I, it's not finished, but this side here is my warm color side. And so I did the sun and I did lines coming from the sun and then lots of different Zentangle designs. And then on the side with the cool colors, I did a moon, just like we drew a few minutes ago. And then I filled in the sky with all these different Zentangles and only used cool colors. So you can do that in your sky on both sides. If you want to, with these lines we drew, you can make lines like I did here. Oh. Sorry, like I did here, and create those entangles inside each line. So you would just go back to those lines that we drew and make them connect. So here I would do a entangle inside that. Or I'd connect it from here, go all the way up, and do a entangle inside that. All right, now on your ground, I want you to think of things um, that make you think of cool colors for your cool side. So we talked about winter. So if you want to create something from winter, like a snowman. So I'm gonna draw a little snowman here. Give him a square hat and arms. So that's one thing I think of. Um, what are some other things that make you think of cool colors? Whatever you want that's a cool color related, draw here. I'm not gonna tell you what to draw because I want you to be creative. And then same thing over here, you're gonna do your warm colors. So what's something you think of when you think of warm colors? I think of fire. So I'm gonna draw a fire, just like a little campfire. Got some wavy lines here. I'm gonna draw some rectangles for my wood since it's a campfire. And then go in with whatever you have to color. So I've got crayons, so I'm gonna pick out all my warm colors for my warm color side, and then my cool colors for my cool color side. So I've started drawing some of my zentangles in this line. I took my pen and I connected my lines from my sun all the way to the top there. Now we can do something like that over here and just draw some lines to separate the sky. Maybe it's kind of like the Milky Way, but just like we did with our Zentangles. So then you can do cool color Zentangles all around that moon. Now a lot of people ask me what about the color brown? So I wanted to use brown for the wood with my fire. Brown is actually a neutral color. That means it's not cool and it's not warm. So you can use it on 
both sides. So I'm going to use brown here for my fire. I mean, not my fire, my, my logs. And then I can use brown here for my sticks, for my arms. All right, think of some more things that are warm colors to draw here. Think of some more things that are cool colors to draw here. And have fun.